What's up guys, Dylan here for AYCB with an unboxing of Ethnos for you. It's a two to six player area majority set collection game designed by Paolo Mori, published by Come On Games. I'm super excited about this one. I've been wanting to get it for a while. Uh, let's just crack it open. I already love the box design, by the way. All the different uh, races are, are featured all along it. Super stylish. Kind of reminds me of the Gloomhaven box, all the classes a little bit. Got the rule book here. Got a bunch of punch outs right here. Here's the board itself. Not super big. It's actually perfect if you want to fit it onto um, a table that you know isn't as big as this one or um, just in your on the coffee table in your living room definitely not a very intrusive board which is awesome here's all the cool little pieces for each player six different colors obviously because it's a six player game here's some of the cards Got Merfolk, Minotaur, a lot of Minotaur, Orcs. And they're all separated, you'll notice, by the different regions at the top here. So you have Orcs that, you know, um, I, to be honest, I haven't read the rules completely, but based on what I know about the game, um, you have copies of the races that are unique to, to each territory. Um, even though even though they're the same race, their abilities are listed on the bottom here. Every race will have a different uh, ability that's unique to that race. You'll play each race differently. Wing folk, wizards. This one reminds me of uh, Magic the Gathering a lot, even in the ability drawing cards. Skeletons and. There's more at the back. I'm not sure why these ones don't have abilities on them, but that's probably just me not being familiar with the full rules of the game. Something I plan to get very familiar with soon so that we can put out our how to play video for this. And these should be the rest of the race cards. Got dragons. Centaur, which I believe dragons are actually not a full race in the game. I think they're actually um, uh, sort of like a, a timer to indicate when your um, the round is, is running up. I think you have to have all the dragons show up or something like that. I'm probably butchering it, but believe me, I'll get it right before we uh, release our how to play video. Got elves, giants, halflings. So many cards here, they're falling on my hands. And the rest of them are folk. All right, let's, uh, what do you say we put these to the side here for a second, as well as the board. Let's deal with these punch outs. Oh, almost popped them out now, and let's just pop them out. There we go. And these are the player boards here. This is, I believe, specific to the merfolk. Certain um, classes have, you know, more complexities to them, or classes, or races have more complexities to them than, than others. I believe that's just specific to the merfolk. Got some more here. And there we go. So yeah, we have the six player boards. Here, I believe each player gets one of these when they're when they're playing, no matter what race they're playing. These are specific to the giants. Those are specific to the merfolk. Um, these are the actual victory points that are associated to each region. Um, I believe that they're selected randomly so that each game you play, the regions will be worth different victory points in different rounds, which is super cool. Um, these, I actually don't know off the top of my head. I'm sure there's something very simple, um, but I just don't know what they are. Um, Actually, they could be specific to the orcs. They have the orc picture on them. Um, so it could just be about, like the same situation as these. Um, and that's pretty much it. Hey guys, one more thing I wanted to show you. Uh, 
I am a sucker for a really good box design, something that holds all the components nicely. I mean, it's obviously easy to just to get some bags, throw the components in there, and make sure nothing falls out, even if you're standing your games up sideways like I do. But that being said, a game that comes with a box that's designed to perfectly fit all the pieces just gets extra pluses in my book. So I just want to show you what it looks like all organized in. Nice slot here with holes to be able to grab everything, which is a small <laughs> detail, but uh, very welcome. Um, slots for the cards the boards fit in perfectly here perfectly organized with all the little um, control marker pieces um, all the boards um, player boards fit in there underneath you find the giant token all your victory tokens as well as your troll tokens i call them orc tokens earlier but they are troll tokens all fit in perfectly this spot right here is, I believe, if you bag these still, if you want to go the bag drought, all the bags fit in here, which is, I believe, where they were when I opened the box. Um, looks so organized, so beautiful. I imagine if you stand it up, all of these are probably going to spill everywhere. That being said, I appreciate that they did this design. I think it's awesome. All right, guys, and that is Ethnos. I uh, hope you enjoyed the unboxing, uh, and I hope you're as excited about this game as I am. Um, if you want to know more, uh, you want to you know, learn how to play the rules, uh, see a full review on what we think about it, uh, check back to our uh, YouTube channel, our website in the coming weeks. We're going to have a lot more content on this game. Um, I'm about to sink my teeth into it and get as many plays in as I can so that I can give you an informed review, um, and I'll be uh, putting up a how to play uh, as soon as I know how to, how to play. Uh, thanks for stopping by, guys, and uh, check out the channel soon for more AYCB content. Mm -hmm.